We have the best energy companies in the country. Florida ranks high in quality of service. These energy companies are award-winning companies in terms of their quality of service. As a value add, we have some of the lowest rates in the country. These companies create jobs. Last year, Florida passed New York to become the third most populous state in our nation. Now, with 20 million residents, the Sunshine State's future looks bright. For over 90 years, our law firm has been helping the industry create the infrastructure that allows Florida residents and businesses to prosper. And we hope in the future to be able to help our energy clients power Florida's future. We've come a long way in harnessing energy. From relying on the sunlight for heat, animals for land travel, and the wind to propel us as we discover the world by sea. Energy today in the United States is a rapidly evolving and changing industry. From harnessing the ability of steam to power an engine, to channeling the output of a nuclear reaction to power our homes and businesses, to transforming sunlight into electricity, we have rapidly evolved and changed. The energy industry, both electric and natural gas, are economic engines of the state. The energy industry means a great deal to Florida. It, first and foremost, energy is the basis for all of our economy. If you go to a country that doesn't have a good energy system, you'll find that they don't have a very vibrant economy. So we need to have a very stable, reliable energy system in order to support our economy. Florida has a constructive regulatory environment, has talent, diversity, and a business-friendly approach. Florida has a growing economy with an entrepreneurial mindset and a commitment to development and growth. It appeals to Amera's entrepreneurial spirit. And it's not only electric energy. Natural gas plays a significant role in fueling the growth of Florida. Um, the industry is a multi-billion dollar industry employing hundreds and thousands of people each year. And we need to have this important conversation. Florida has seen its first LNG powered ships and these ships are being used to export LNG to countries where it is critically needed. So we have seen significant changes in Florida and we've had a lot of big wins in the industry. The TECO agreement is the next significant step in our growth and scale. In terms of increasing Amera's share of regulated assets, which has been a key company goal, and in terms of our overall growth. The big moves in the state of Florida around energy has to do with your energy company. It's going to be more than just powering your world, it's going to be powering your lives. New companies and new investment is attracted to Florida because of the constructive regulatory environment that we have and sound legislative policy. The work we do with the legislature is incredibly important because in Florida the legislature creates the framework for the policy that the regulators and the companies have to abide by. The regulatory decisions of our electric and natural gas utilities matter. In fact, the impact of regulatory decisions and policy often extend well beyond specific regulatory requests and projects to impact long-range planning and ultimately investment. Regulatory decisions that encourage investment ultimately benefit not just the utility but the state as a whole by encouraging economic development and job creation. The number one thing we can do uh, in the state right now is get this state back to work and that's what we're focused on every day. Many years ago in 2006, industry came together and with the Florida Department of Education and Career Source Florida, formed the Florida Energy Workforce Consortium. As a group of industry partners then through that organization, we've been able to partner with the Florida Department of Education to add an energy career cluster in Florida, which gives us the ability to write curriculum standards for middle school courses in energy, high school, technical center, state college, all to prepare students for work in our industry and really to help them understand the varied careers that are available right here in Florida in energy. Today, our industry is facing an overall shortage of talent, experience, and future leaders. I believe there's a great deal of opportunity, not only for women, but anyone looking for a fulfilling career. Oh, this is the greatest time to consider this industry. So much is happening in the field of energy. We're looking at all kinds of alternative energy, 
The companies have made a lot of investment in the state related to solar and natural gas and making their units more efficient. No two issues are the same. There's so much to learn. Clean energy requirements and new environmental considerations are opening new doors within the sector. And more than ever before, women are at the forefront of solving big problems to find new solutions and lead the change. The industry employs hundreds of thousands of people in good, high-paying jobs. These jobs have traditionally been dominated by males. And this is a great time to encourage women to explore the opportunities, not only in traditional utility um, jobs, but also in new clean energy technology. Women can find opportunities throughout the industry in accounting, engineering, operations, construction, strategy. The list just goes on and on. All careers in the energy industry are available to women. It's amazing that throughout my 20 plus years at Southern Company, I've had the great fortune to work under so many women leaders, both in the technical realm of our industry, as well as in the management side of our business. And really the opportunities are limitless. The forum lets us celebrate women leadership in the energy industry. But in doing so, we celebrate the entire industry, what they've accomplished, in terms of bringing energy initiatives to the state, in growing Florida's economy, and in their embrace of diversity in their energy workforce. So we need the women at the table. Otherwise, we are again missing out on an important opportunity. The opportunity to tap into the energy that women can bring to the energy industry. That diversity is necessary for us to serve our customers. To not have our workforce mirror our customer base, to not have the voice of over 50% of our customers there inside our businesses means that there's no way we can adequately serve them. Women need to have the experience to move to senior roles and they need to believe that they can do it. By having women in roles like plant managers, leaders of our operations teams, heads of our subsidiary companies, it ensures that the bright capable women get the experience needed to take on more senior roles. In order for our industry to thrive and prosper, we need to be more reflective of the communities we serve and society as a whole. Mm -hmm. In order for natural gas to continue to grow, we need to have diversity of thought in order to meet the challenges we will face in the future. The industry needs innovation, collaboration, creativity to face some of the challenges that we have so that we can continue to grow, expand um, the, the energy use in Florida in a sustainable way. But our work is not done with the conclusion of the forum. I hope that you will join me in inspiring others to join the industry, looking ahead to the next generation of workforce talent. What we do after the forum is more important than what we accomplished today. Let's take this conversation forward. Welcome to Florida's Women in Energy Leadership Forum.